In this video, I'm going to introduce you to two potentially new concepts to you. And that's going to be uh, geolocation and uh, error handling with an if-else statement. Now, it makes sense to explain these things together because anytime you're using geolocation, you want to have some error handling in your script. And that's where the if-else statement comes in. Uh, if-else statement says if something is available or if whatever the parameters you want uh, then do this if if not else um, do something else and so what we're gonna do it's gonna be very simple in this video we are going to look if the browser has uh, the geolocation function and um, if it doesn't then we're gonna do something else with that so uh, well let's get right into it so if you wanna start with this project, what you're going to need to do is just basically create a bare bones HTML document. Uh, I have an HTML5 document over here, and this is um, this is just something. As soon as I created a new document with Dreamweaver, it created well this much of the code for me. And then in the head of the document, I put the script tag in there, and I'm ready to put something in. So let's start with the JavaScript that I'm going to need. Let's start with the if else statement. We'll go if and then here inside of if we're going to say what that if is. Now, if I go navigator dot geolocation, essentially, so far I'm saying if navigator dot geolocation is present, then do whatever's in between these curly braces. Now, this code alone will validate, but uh, we need an else statement because we're going to say, well if it doesn't have it what are we going to do so else and then we'll put curly braces um, and that'll be it because the else is if no geo location is available now uh, before we even put anything in here let's talk about navigator.geolocation now navigator.geolocation is a global object that's now available uh, right through HTML so there's, I don't want to get into the nuances of whether or not geolocation is actually HTML5 or uh, whatever, but let's just say that they kind of go hand in hand nowadays. So what we're looking for here with this statement is we're t asking the uh, browser, the device that is going to be using this code, hey, do you have geolocation available to you? Well, if you do have geolocation, then what should you do? So, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to do document.write and we'll go, you have geolocation. Okay, pretty simple. All right, but what if they don't have geolocation? Well, then we'll just do that, but you do not have geolocation. Now, super basic script, not anything special going on here, but if nothing else, if we go to preview it in Firefox, look at that. It's writing, you have geolocation. Pretty cool. So, uh, but what happens if you don't have geolocation? Well, what I've done is I went and downloaded an old version of Firefox. Uh, geolocation actually was only enabled in Firefox after a version 3.5 and above. So uh, where did I go? I went to, uh, let me dig it up right here. I went to, for the Mac, it was mac.oldapps.com and I found an old version of Firefox. Uh, obviously there's, you know, just at oldapps.com has all the PC stuff over there. Uh, but I wanted to find a browser that didn't have H, uh, didn't have geolocation enabled. So, you know, so kind of show you what the else that's going to execute. So uh, give it one sec over here while we fire it up. Now here's a very old version of um, Firefox. I think like a 1999 version. And let's see, uh, I lost the URL, the local URL. So if I go to Chrome, here's the URL. So Chrome Obviously, current version has geolocation, and when we go to this old version of Firefox, you don't have geolocation. So, if you're actually using Windows and um, you have 
Internet Explorer 9. You can see that uh, Internet Explorer 9 does support geolocation, but if I actually turn my document mode to 7, you see that it says you do not have geolocation. So uh, this is a slicker way on Windows to um, kind of test this very simple script over here. That's simply it. That's uh, the about extent of what I wanted to cover in this video. But just to go over it one more time, first order business is we did error handling, and we did error handling with an if else statement. The it said if something were to happen, or if we had something. In this case, we were looking for geolocation. Uh, we're going to write you do have it. And if not, then you do something else. Um, and obviously the next other thing was just the geolocation global object, as you'd call it, um, introducing that, which we haven't done much with it. But essentially, when we do use the navigator, we'll go deeper with it. But this is just saying, hey, are you around? Is geolocation around? And then we know that, in fact, it is. And you notice, and the key to all this is, is that we're getting this geolocation functionality without attaching anything to our page. So we're just working with really the the bare components of HTML and JavaScript over here. No libraries needed to get geolocation and error handling uh, right out of the box, if you will.